In this video, we're going to talk all about these guys, bringing your phone into virtual reality using the Immersed software. Now, Immersed has a functionality called Phone in VR, does what it says, um, and that works for Android and for iPhone. However, there are some limitations to it, so there are some other options that I wanted to show you. I'm a Windows Android guy, so I can't really help you with the Mac iPhone, but from what I understand, uh, Mac and iPhone have very similar things to what I'm going to show you. So let's jump in. Okay, here we are inside of Immersed. I happen to be in the Space Lounge and I have this incredible view of planet Earth, which looks so much better in VR than it does in this video recording. I have a single screen here in front of me. So uh, the first way I wanted to show you how to bring your phone in is using an application called Phone Link. So this is what Phone Look Link looks like. Phone Link is literally a an aggregator for all of your phone's data. So you can see there's notifications down here on the left. You can actually look through your messages and I can go in and actually send messages by typing on the keyboard and so forth. I can actually make calls and also I can look at my photos and I can download photos as well. So all of this is within the context of an application that basically brings your phone data into one of your windows in Immersed. I just have a single screen right now. I could have five screens in here. And so maybe my phone screen is sort of a screen off to the left or up above or whatever. So I'm not going to go into how to configure and set up and install phone link because there's lots of other people that have YouTube videos and articles on how to do that. But I just wanted to show you that this is one way that you can see your phone through this application. From what I understand, there are certain types of phones that where that does not work for whatever reason. And so there's another software called Dell Mobile Connect. So if you install and configure that, and again, there's another video that I will have the, the link in the description below to the video that shows you how to install and configure this application. But this is similar application to PhoneLink in the fact that it brings your information into this application. But you have kind of the same basic things here where here these are your messages, uh, you have your contacts, you can look at files. This is a little bit richer where you have files, you've got albums, there's different videos. And then this does have one feature that the phone link does not have, and that is screen mirroring. So if I click screen mirroring, and then now here I see my phone's screen. So I can manipulate the phone in real life as I move the screens around you'll see that the application is showing the screen that I'm on. So I can open applications, I can do different things. So now if you wanted to use your mouse and keyboard and you want to send a text message, you can use your mouse and keyboard in VR through the mirroring app to actually send and receive messages and whatnot. So that's a really nice feature of this as well. Now, if you don't like a third party application, but you like the concept of mirroring, I'll direct you to this. I don't know how you pronounce it. I always pronounce it scrappy uh, or scrapey, but whatever, however you pronounce this, there's a link to this in the description below. But this is an application that you can install that will do the same exact screen mirroring, but you don't have to set up phone link or you don't have to set up Dell Connect. You can literally just mirror your screen right here and it looks exactly like what I just showed you. You can use your keyboard and mouse to send messages. So that's another way to do that. Okay, I had started to edit this video and I realized I should have demonstrated what Scrappy actually looks like. So I went back and recorded this little bit. I have in my setup, I have a USB-C cable that is connecting my phone to my actual laptop. And then I've created a shortcut to Scrappy here. So if I execute that, it opens a little window. And then right there is the actual screen mirroring on the phone. So I can grab this window and I can resize it you know, to how, whatever, whatever size I want to 
I want it to be. I can interact with my phone, like I can turn it back on and I can swipe or whatever I want to do here. And I see that being reflected in the screen and then I can put this screen wherever I want. So, you know, maybe I want this a little smaller and up on this screen up here, I can just stick my phone over there or wherever I can put this on my existing screens, wherever I might want to have my phone. So that's what the scrappy implementation looks like. So now I want to show you how you use the phone in VR application that comes native to Immersed. So everything I've shown you to this point has been sort of third party solutions that have nothing to do with Immersed really. They're just bringing your phone into your computer. And since your computer is in Immersed, you get it in Immersed. But here, if you want to see phone in VR, the first thing you have to do is I'm going to bring my phone over to the camera here so you can see it. So you have to install the Immersed application. So I have that right here on my home screen. I'm going to tap on that. It'll open up the Immersed app. And then now you can tap launch phone in VR and then you just do a start and that will start this connection screen. And then now this is ready to open in VR. So I'm going to put this back on this little stand here. Now I'm going to open up the main menu and go to the computers tab. And now you see this little icon up here in the upper left. So I'm going to click on that. And then what that's going to do is connect with the phone and it will bring the phone up as a separate window. Whatever is on your screen on the phone, that is also shown in the window. So I can move this anywhere I want. I can actually hit the bring to front to have it be in front of this one. I can bring it closer. I can push it far away. I can make it really large or really small. Now the limitation to this is that there's no, there's no way to interact with this. So if I bring this really close to me here and you know, I start, try to tap it like I tap on the main menu, or I try to use the laser to point and click, that functionality does not work. This is simply a visual representation of your phone. In my case, I have this magnetic clip and I just pop my phone onto that. You might have a stand. Maybe you have something similar to this where there's a little tripod that you can use, but whatever way you can put your phone on your desk somewhere. And then if you enable your hands and then like, I'm going to touch the lower left corner of my phone um, in real life. And then you see in VR, I can see where that finger is. I'll just sort of put it right where that finger is. And then I'll slide up to the top and I'll, I'll use the resizing. Whoops, I'm going to have to redo that, but that's okay. I use the resizing um, like this and basically position. That's better. I can use two fingers like this and kind of position it right there. That's actually pretty ideal there. And then I can pin the phone in place. So now this virtual representation of my phone is in sync with my real world phone. So I can go in and if I want to say open up Facebook, I can tap on Facebook and, and the my thumb and where things are, are relatively accurate. And so it's accurate enough to be able to, to tap on the right things, whatever. So that gives me enough 3D context of where the phone is in order to interact with it. So that's one way you can use that. However, in my particular setup, that's pretty small and like it's hard to read the text for a text message, for example. So one of the things that I've done is I typically work with pass through. If you're not familiar with pass through, I have a whole video on that. You can search my YouTube channel for that, but I'm going to turn on the keyboard pass through. So in real life, you can see I've got my real life keyboard and there's this sort of empty area over here. My phone is up over on this. A uh, little magnetic clip and in virtual reality if I look down I can see through the pass-through window and I can see here's my trackball and my keyboard now what I'll do here is I don't try to sync this up I'll let me unpin this and I'll make this much larger well larger than it was for sure there we go and 
kind of push that back a little. I'll angle this to where it's nice and big and easy to see. Now you can be creative as far as lots of screen monitors and you might put your phone down low or up high or whatever. But what I'll do is I keep my phone here in this little slot next to my keyboard and trackball. So when I look down through the pass through in VR, I can grab my phone, it's right there. So I can see my phone in real life through the pass through down low but if I look up, now I can see it in very crystal clear detail. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll look down and I can see enough of this to be able to just see that's where the messages icon is. And here I can see my actual finger with my actual phone and I can say, oh, I can swipe up to get rid of that. And I can look up to see the details. So if I want to go in and click on something like that and I want to go ahead and open up, you know, here is a, a text message, I can actually, you know, scroll through using, seeing where to scroll down low, but I can look up to read. Um, and then what I typically do is I will use screen record to actually just speak the message that I want to type, period. That's a lot easier than actually trying to type in this environment, exclamation point. So something like that. So I probably should not send that to my pastor, but you get the idea. So that's another way you can use your phone in VR. So I hope you found that helpful. There's a lot of creative ways to use your phone in VR, and I'm sure Immersed is going to be improving their phone in VR technology very soon. And I pray that God blesses you with an amazing day. Thanks for watching. Take care.